pray, our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity once again to worship you. Thank you, Lord, for the text that you have given us. Bless every one of us here. Uh, bless everyone here today, Lord, and uh, help us and guide us throughout this service. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may all be seated. So the text I uh, we've read a while ago is all about in Psalm 103, and uh, I was uh, studying this lesson since last week, and I tried to contemplate it on how to really understand His Word. And I have this today, and I hope that this uh, God will help us and understand His Word today. So let me start with this and. Uh, we all know that God has done everything to us. But one of his uh, uh, traits is the most appreciated. So there would be no hope for any one of us here today if it was not for this attribute. So if it was not for his forgiving, forgiving us of, his, of our sins, there would, well, we would all need to be fearful, for, uh, fearful of the eternity in the lake of fire that would await us. So I know that this book in Psalm 103, verses 3 and 4 is very, very familiar to every one of us. And this is a very common topic to every believers. Now we can receive this excellent gift of forgiveness. And this is talking about forgiveness, God's forgiveness. And this gift, we can actually receive this not because of something we did or not because of something we could do. And uh, we all know that God gave this forgiveness to us because of his mercy. And we all know that God is merciful. So although he knows of our sins, he still often to chooses to forgive what we have done or what we have done in our life. He can heal all that ask and trust of their sin sickness. And that is stated in verse number three. Who healeth all thy diseases. Now God's forgiveness is all encompassing in this book, Psalm 103. We see that first is God paid for or redeemed of our sins with the shed blood of his only son, Jesus. And he did this so we could avoid the eternal punishment due to an unforgiven sinners. And it is found in Psalm 103 verse 4. Who redeemed thy life from destructions? And we also see here that God can give undeserved mercy. And uh, all of those things that we have right now in our lives, we do not deserve all these things. But God is merciful to every one of us. So that's the reason why we are here today because of his mercy. And that is found in verse number 8. The Lord is merciful and gracious slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. And also in verse number 17, But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children. And also here we can see that God is gracious to us and does not always give us the punishment we deserve. Now talking about punishment, we have this, especially when you are, when we are uh, teachers we, we are teaching our students and every time we punish the student it is not because of we push them out or we were making them more into that bad thing but we are punishing them in order for them to realize that there is something wrong in them that that's why God really uh, always give us the punishment we deserve we deserve the punishment by the way and that is to be in the lake of fire but then because of his son Jesus Christ, we are, we could avoid the eternal punishment. And, uh, and that is found again in verse number 8. And then we have this verse in verse number 10. He had not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to his or to our iniquities. Now, another thing here is God often stops being angry at some. And that is found in verse number 9. He will not chide. He will not always chide, neither will, will he keep his anger forever. So like us, 
we tend to get angry to our students, but then after just a few minutes, or maybe five minutes after, we're not angry anymore. So that should be the attitude. Not, not like you'll have to be angry forever. Parang ang hirap ng buhay, di ba? Ang hirap ng buhay. Yung sinabi nga ni, ni Pastor Jesse, it's, uh, life is not about problems. It's all about understanding. And uh, we can see here that God can put our sins far away from Him. And this, is, this was mentioned this morning that once He forgives us of our iniquities, they are as far away as the east is from the west. Those two compass points never meet, nor does our wicked past meet with God's judgment if we are saved. And that is found in verse number 12. As far as the east is from the west, so far had he removed our transgressions from us. And lastly, we, we see here that God knows that we are made, uh, what we are made of, and he knows that we are weak, and that is found in verse number 14. It says there, For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth what we are, that we are dust. So sometimes, all those things that we have in our life, we, we tend to parang ipagmalaki or ipagmayabang, which is, we all came from dust. And we are nothing because, we are nothing only, only, only because of His grace and His mercy. Kaya tayo nandito ngayon. So, can you imagine standing in front of our God and being reminded of all of our iniquities or unrighteousness? That will never happen to a child of God. And uh, just to let you know or to remind you that we are all forgiven. So this topic reminds me about the cantata po about last year or two years ago that we had it's it's forgive, uh, for, forgiven forgiven forever and we did it twice and it was a blessing na maintindihan natin tong bagay na to na hindi dapat tayo naglilinger doon sa mga nangyayari sa ating buhay before and the most important thing is the, 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 those things that we're doing right now and let me end here in Ephesians 4.32 And be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake had forgiven you. Yun lamang po. Thank you.